the speech of a single pipe to the massed ranks singing together. The organ's vast potential is shaped out of thin air. But how does music come from the shaping of the physical world? Physicist George Plitnik. Sound can be considered as being composed of three areas. Noise, language, and musical tone. Noise is a random, erratic type of oscillation. Each end of the string is fixed. They're points of no vibration, the nodes of the waveform. In the center is the point of maximum vibration, the antinode. From node to node is the wavelength. It's the wavelength that fits on the string that determines the frequency or pitch of the note we hear. The second way of generating musical tone is in the vibrating air column. Now, we can't see the vibrations in the air column as we can on the string. Nevertheless, there are points of no vibration called nodes and points of maximum vibration called antinodes. The organ pipe is engineered to create and contain a vibrating column of air. Like the string, the length of the pipe determines the length of its wave, and that wavelength determines the pitch of the sound we hear. Doc here, frequency and period, and I'm going to take you through three levels of questions. The first one can be thought of as being the easiest, or we'll say a C-level question, and then a little harder one, B 